All right, so now we've worked through five tests for our aquarium. We can tell definitely that we still have high levels of ammonia, nitrate, and nitrite. So we're definitely still cycling this aquarium. We're not ready to add livestock at this point. Our pH is good, but our alkalinity is high. So we're gonna ease up on adding buffer to the aquarium. We're gonna to continue to monitor the alkalinity and see that it drops a little bit. So we get into that range of eight to nine DKH that we prefer. Um, we can definitely uh, show you the skimmer. We'll, we'll just cut to that. You see the skimmer is working very well now. We're starting to get uh, some muck and collection in the collection cup so that definitely can see this tank is in the cycling process. But right now we're just not ready to add livestock yet. We're gonna to continue to monitor, to test, to do our reef mature uh, program. And we'll come back and bring you updates shortly. And today we're gonna to work through Red Sea's Marine Care Test Kit. This involves five tests. Uh, we're testing for ammonia, nitrate, nitrite, pH, and alkalinity. So we're gonna get started and go through these tests. We'll be drawing all of our water samples directly from the aquarium itself. Let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start by drawing five milliliters of sample water from our aquarium. I'm gonna put that into our test vial. Now each of the test kits comes with a card with directions on one side and a color comparison chart on the other. The first step of the ammonia test is to take one level scoop of powder from reagent A. And sometimes it's useful to use a card to kind of level that off, almost like you're baking a cake. So you get an equal amount of reagent each time. That way your tests are accurate. Now it says to swirl that for 10 seconds. You want to make sure that that powder is completely dissolved. And then next step is going to be to add five drops of reagent B. Now anytime you're adding drops of a reagent, I recommend turning the reagent bottle upside down next to the test vial and then moving it over so you get five even drops. One, two, three, four, five. Now we need to swirl again for 10 seconds. Make sure it's evenly mixed. Now the next step is reagent C. Again, five drops. There's five drops of reagent C. Now we need to swirl again for 10 seconds. And then we need to wait 15 minutes to take our test results. So what I'm gonna do is turn the card over. I'll set the test file there on the color comparison chart and we'll come back and check our results in a few minutes. All right, now we're gonna come back and re review our test results. For our ammonia test, I would say that our reading is 0.2 parts per million, which is high. Obviously, we don't wanna see any ammonia, but our tank is cycling, so this tells us that the cycling process is definitely happening. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our nitrate test. Again, for this test, we need five milliliters of sample water into our test vial. The first step is to add five drops of reagent A. Again, we're gonna turn that upside down next to the bottle, make sure we don't get in any partial drops and do five even drops. One, two, three, four, five. Now per the instructions, we're gonna swirl that for 10 seconds. And now we need to do a level scoop of reagent B. Again, I'm gonna use my card to kind of level that off and make sure that I am getting a level scoop. And then we're going to go ahead and swirl that for 60 seconds. Sometimes I wish they had a machine to do this, but you do wanna make sure that the reagent is evenly mixed and dissolved within your test solution. All right, almost there. Next step is to add one level scoop of reagent C. Again, use the card. 
to level that off. Put that in, and then we need to swirl for 10 seconds. Looks like we are going to have some nitrate in our tests. I'm going to turn the card over and set it on our color comparison chart and we'll come back and check our nitrate readings shortly. All right, now we're going to look at our nitrate test results. I would say that our sample reading is between 10 and 20 parts per million. So that would put our nitrate test, I'd say about 15 parts per million. All right, now let's go ahead with our nitrite test. With this test, we need to add a total of 16 mils to the test file, so there's five. Another five. And there makes 15. And one final milliliter. Make 16 milliliters of sample water. My first step is to add one drop of reagent A. And then we need to swirl the sample vial for 10 seconds. And then we need one level scoop of reagent C. Put that into our test vial. Now we need to swirl again for 10 seconds. And then we need to wait nine minutes for our nitrite test results. Now the reagent is dissolved. I'm gonna flip the card over and set it on our color comparison chart. We'll come back and check our nitrite test results shortly. All right, now let's look at our nitrite test results. I would say that our nitrite reading is definitely between 0.2 and 0.5. I would probably estimate about 0.3 to 0.4 parts per million of nitrite, which again tells us that our tank is still in the cycling process. All right, now let's test the pH of our aquarium. We're going to start by adding 5 milliliters of sample water from the tank per the instructions. And then we need to add 3 drops of the pH reagent. One, two, and three. pH test is a very simple, easy one to do. Swirl for 10 seconds. And then we're gonna flip our card over. We'll set our test file on our color comparison chart and come back shortly to check our results. All right, now looking at our pH test results, we can see that we have a pH in our aquarium of 8.0. All right, now we're going to do our alkalinity test. This is a titration test where you start by adding five milliliters of our sample water to the solution. And then we're going to draw up the reagent into a dropper. And what we're doing here is we're counting the number of drops it takes to get a color change. Now here you'll see the vial is a little bit empty, so I want to make sure I have get even drops in there. So we're going to say, start with one, then we're going to swirl, and it helps to hold it against the white background like this card so I can actually see the color. We're looking for a color change from blue to green. Second drop, move this out of the way here. I see a very slight blue hue. Third drop, definitely see a blue hue now. Fourth drop coming up, still blue. Fifth drop, still blue, waiting for that color to change to green. Sixth drop. No change yet. Number seven. 
Still looks blue. Number eight. Still blue. Come on. Number nine. Looks like I'm starting to see it want to go green, but just not yet. Let's go for number 10. There we have green on the 10th drop. Now if you overdo it, it's going to turn yellow. So now I see on the 10th drop is definitely green. Let's see what happens with the 11th drop. There it looks yellow. So we're going to go with 10 drops. We'll compare that to our chart there. And we can see that with 10 drops, our alkaline has a DKH of 10. So a little high, higher than I prefer on alkalinity.